In this tutorial, we'll be upgrading the software on our PSP to the newest version. So to need this, you're going to need your PSP. I'm using a PSP 3000. This will work on any PSP, including the Go and the E1000. Then you'll need a memory stick. Mine's 2 gigabyte. Yours does not have to be that big, though. Then you're going to also need a USB cable. You'll need this kind. Um, have USB on this end, then it'll have a mini USB on this end to connect your PSP to your, to your computer. And you obviously need a computer with internet access. So on our computer, you're going to open up your web browser and navigate to the link in the description. You want to scroll down to where it is. For your system, I'm on a 3000, it's in here. I'm going to download that file. It will be eboot.pbp. You want to save this on your desktop. Now, once it's downloaded, you want to take your PSP. You want to make sure your memory stick. You want to insert that if it's not already in. It just slides in like this. You close that door. Now you want to take your USB cable. It plugs in on the top here. And then you want to go into your USB port and plug it into a USB port on your computer. Then, if it doesn't already open up, you want to go into settings, USB connection, and click on that. Okay, now you want to open up your. Uh, folder your drive then you'll make a folder called PSP all capital letters inside there you'll make a folder called game all capital letters inside there you want to make a folder called update all capital letters you want to put your eboot.pbp file in there and now you can close out of USB mode and disconnect the cable connecting your PSP and your computer so now just to the PSP we're finished with the computer Okay, so and also you will need your wall adapter. It came with your PSP. So you can see, here's the end of mine. You want to plug it in. You have to plug it in. And then once it's plugged in, it shows that it's charging. Go over to game, go to memory stick, and click PSP update version 6.60 and then you'll get the PSP screen this screen. Go ahead and click X. Then you want to click the right arrow. Go down and click X on accept and click X again. And if you get this message it means you need to let your battery charge a little bit so we're just going to wait for that to charge. Just click X do this again. And now it's install. So we're gonna go ahead and let that install. Update is completed, so you can hit X. And your system will reboot. I'm gonna unplug the charger. Okay. So now if you go over into your System settings, then system information. I'm hiding my MAC address, but you can see I'm on version 6.60. It's the official version. So you can see I'm on there. So I'm on this version. And then soon, in the next video or something, I'll show you how you can 
set up custom firmware on 6.60. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them.